air leaking out of that brake chamber. Well, apparently I've got another maintenance issue. Luckily, it's not another big one, but I was here in air, and with the help of the beautiful missus, go ahead. Air leaking out of that brake chamber. So I guess I'm home just in time to fix that up. So we'll get that taken care of. Got to spend money to make money. Well, what's going on, y'all? <laughs> Another day of paradise. Yeah, I just thought I was going home. Well, I am home, kind of. Um. So I got here to the, the truck stop and I noticed today that I was hearing a hissing noise out of my valves over here. And I was like, man, that just, usually that cuts out and it didn't really cut out. So I knew something was up. <clears throat> um, usually means there's an air leak somewhere. So yet again, we had another air leak. I say yet again, like it's had happened a million times. Well, look at that, that's nice, huh? The haircut or let it grow out, one of the two, I don't know. Which, what should I do, let it grow back out or just get it cut again? It is winter time, hence the little bit of growth. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so it was hard for me to check everything out, out outside the truck because it only happened when the, the valve was punched in. Um, I could, I guess I could have set the trailer brakes released the tractor brakes and then walked around it but my truck if the truck's running and i open the door the the horn honks like repetitively honk 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 yeah so i might have to get that shut off because that's annoying but um my wife got here to pick me up and i had her come in here and uh step on the brakes and stuff and sure enough i found a brake chamber it had a little well not a little hole but it had a little my fingers won't go that small, but anyway, I had a hole in it. So, uh, luckily, there wasn't a whole lot of people there at the at the shop there at the TA, and uh, so they got me in within an hour. And then it only took about an hour to fix it. But at that point, it was by the time they were done, it was like seven thirty, and uh, my wife had went and got some groceries, and she went and got. Uh, some food for the boys and stuff because it was starting to get late and uh, she, I just told her to go back to the house because I need to stay with the truck get that taken care of in the meantime I was just looking to see what, what loads were out there so once again I got lucky I found a load going 25 miles this load is 25 miles away from me and then I so I deadhead 25 miles, picked the load up, 25 miles back to deliver it, which is right back to, right up the road from where I'm sitting. How much you think? What did we get it for? $20 a mile for all miles. I don't get it. I, I mean, I'll take it. I don't get it though. I, it's, I've been blessed. It's, it's amazing. Um, I just looked out so that that'll obviously pay more than pay for the brake chamber because that was uh what was that it was about 170 bucks um but you know why not get the extra money <laughs> it's easy money and uh you know i can just take monday i need to take monday off anyway because i got some stuff i gotta do during normal people business hours so uh but anyway long story short i get picked up that load it picks up 6 30 in the morning uh, I had sent my wife to the house to go ahead and feed the kids and and um, by the time you know I got done with that I just told her I said well I'll just stay in the truck I got to be over there to, to pick up at 630 so I'd have to get up at stupid o'clock to come to the truck anyway but so that's what's happening but thank goodness 
I've been lucky. It's just been minor little stuff here and there that hasn't cost an arm and a leg, and it hasn't been while I was on the road. So, well, the alternator I was on the road, kinda. Uh, I was at least in town. Um, but, but I've been blessed, and uh, so far, so far, so good. Um, somebody said made a comment that they thought I was in over my head. I may be a little bit, but the difference between being over my head and uh, and not is a little something like this comes up. I just take another run to fix it, you know, which I think that's what you're supposed to do. And I've got money in the bank, so uh, for those such occasions. Long story short, if you're gonna be in this business as a truck uh, owner operator or lease operator or whatever, you gotta have money in the bank because you never know when you're gonna have to spend some of it. And just just save that money. You can't just go out blowing it. And, I, and don't, I'm not trying to give advice, tell you what to do because I'm new at this and I definitely don't know everything and I'm just getting started. Um, but I, I feel like some of that's common sense. Put your money in the bank, give yourself a little salary and roll with it. But uh, anyway, that's it. Just a quick little update. <laughs> it's just like, uh, something else. Anyway, you guys be safe. Take care. Thanks for trucking with T-Bone. Like, subscribe, share, notification, da-da-da-da-da-da-boo-da-ba-da-bing. See you guys soon.